Hi friends, uh, today we are going to talk about one very important aspect in S4 HANA that is very much changed compared to what is there in ECC6. So before uh, uh, we had this transaction MB03 where you can check all the uh, all the invoices, all the GRs that you have entered and all these things. So these, all the MB transaction more or less are gone. So this has been replaced by MIGO transaction. Now in MIGO there is a problem because in MIGO here if you go here you you have to search with a different aspect you have to give a goods receipt display material document number and try to search based on that and all those things later on what happens is whatever you choose here in MIGO it it keeps the history like in any other transaction in SAP so it will so suppose you want to enter a GR you have to make sure you hit like purchase order and all those things like we we enter the goods receipt and all those things then only it will work otherwise it will not work so if you see if i want to enter goods receipt again next time i'll come here and i'll enter goods receipt and then i'll enter the purchase order number so it's a lot of work so instead of using mico to display a material document number you can use mb51 now again you can always go from a purchase order and all those things and get the uh, material document but provided if you have a request where what are the different uh, material document number I have entered uh, you can easily find it through MB51 so here you can see the username so I'll just run it wide open okay uh, because I'll do a reverse engineering so here you can see this is the material document number so I click on it double click on it I am here we're pretty easy and from here I can find out you know other informations like the, it was ordered by this and here you can give information like the who what was what is the purchase order number and here document info you can see this was entered by this person so here if I, at one point of time you want to see what are the different material documents that has been entered for plant uh, for plant uh, M, 1710 you can easily find it from here so wait uh, let me see i think i picked the username so i'll just double click on it and and here i'll go student 26 is the name okay so i'll go back it was student 26 probably s t u d n t c o two six percent and oops it was not student 26 let me execute again so i think i'm putting i picked the wrong number so we just go into document information it's student 26 together okay it's not underscore business sorry so again these are the stuffs that will happen in real life also so i don't want to give you a perfect scenario okay so here you will see you can get all the list that has been entered by you the material document number now if you want to get only the ones that are movement type 101 i think you can put the movement type here also 101 and this is very much helpful and i'm pretty sure whoever enters this goods receipt you want to keep it again you can again go through migo but make sure for migo again you change it to goods receipt and then you come back and uh, <clears throat> display but here you can get everything at one point. Okay, so that's it. Very that's very helpful in the S4 HANA's thing. And I'll probably ask you whoever in ECC six try to start using this transaction because you are going to use in the S4 HANA. So you will not have a bad habit of using MB03. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.